Hi guys, Dave here with a new guitar lesson for you. Uh, today we're going to look at Back in Stride by Maze. Uh, really nice funky single note guitar part this. Um, can be lots of fun to play, quite simple in its idea but the, um, the challenge is in the execution, definitely. Okay, um, I'm going to do things a little bit differently. I'm going to put a link to the tabs down below in the description box. So if you're after those, go to the link there. Okay, let's get on with the lesson. So let's start with the intro. Um, the intro and the main riff, incidentally, is just made up of three notes. Uh, let's talk about the key, actually. So it's in the key of F, but really I suppose you would say that tonality-wise, it's mixolydian. You get two bars of an E flat major chord over an F bass. And then it goes to F. That's basically what's happening. Uh, the keyboard sometimes does a little passing chord with a B flat. So it kind of goes one, two, three, four. One, two, three. Kind of bluesy in a way, I suppose. Sometimes they do that little thing at the end there. But basically, you know, you could think of the whole riff as being over like a, an F7. And the notes that are being played, you get a C note, which is the fifth of the F chord, a D note, which is the major six, and then you get an E flat, which is the flat seven of an F chord, so. So I think of it in, in terms of this F7 chord shape. It's the easiest way to kind of visualize it. And then if you want to use something similar, you can just think, you can move the chord shape and say so if I don't want you to do it, do it in D for example. I can, I can uh, move it accordingly. Hope that makes sense. Okay, anyway, the actual riff itself. I'm just going to take that much. So fret-wise, we're all on the G string. And it's just going 8, 8, 7. Then 8, 7, 8. And picking-wise, it's just going down, 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 up. Oh, incidentally, I forgot to mention, I'm going to palm mute the whole thing. It's very staccato on the record, and I've got a feeling that's what he's doing. So, palm on the bridge of the guitar, get a nice kind of cut-off, chunky sound. Okay, that's the first bit. And then you get this answer phrase. So I'm going to take the first five notes, actually. So it's going to go... Again, it's all on the same string. Five, then five, five, seven, five. And for that, I'm starting with an upstroke. So it's going up, down, up, down, up. And then we're going to go eight, seven, five. That's down, down, up. Then eight, seven, both down strokes. And then we're going to go eight, seven, five, which is down, up, up. So if I put the first two bars together, you get this. Like so. Right, bar three, get a slight variation. So for that, I'm going five, seven, and that's up, down, then eight, seven, both with down strokes, then eight, seven, eight, down, up, up. Then we get that answer phrase again. So let me put those two bars together. Right now, bar five. 
slight little variation here. So we're going to go eight seven, sorry five seven. That's up down. Eight seven. Both with down strokes, and then this time we're going five seven eight. Down up up. Then we get that little answer phrase again. Like that. So I'll put those two together. Then bar seven, it's going to be the same as bar five. But the answer phrase is similar, but it's just going to end slightly shorter. So I'll just go through that. So again, we're going to go five, 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 seven, five. We're starting with an upstroke, up, down, up, down, up, just like before. That's eight, seven, five, down, down, up. And then we're just going to go eight, seven, five, all with down strokes. So if I put bars seven and eight together, like that. And that's the intro. Um, you're now going to hear a slowed down version of the whole eight bars. let's look at the main riff the I've simplified it slightly there are little variations but this is basically what's happening throughout all the choruses and verses and it's a lot sparser than the intro right so uh, let's just take that much so we've got eight seven eight seven and it's all down strokes it's where it's placed in the beat though, so it's like on the one, two, and three, four, and like that. All down strokes. That's it. Then bar two. So for that, we're going is eight, 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 and that's down, up, up. Then five, seven is up, down. Then eight with a down, and then five seven up down. Like that. So the first two bars. Like that. Then bar three, same as bar one. So don't need to go over that again. And then bar four. We're gonna get eight, 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 down, up, up. Five, seven, up, down. Then eight is down, miss, up. And then five, seven is up, down. So slowly. Like that. So if I put three and four together, so 
that's basically the mechanics of it. Sometimes when it's the start of a section, he might miss off the very first note. Uh, so when you hear the playthrough, you'll hear that happens. So the very first eight doesn't happen. It just starts in on the two hand. But then once, once the whole thing's rolling and he's into the riff, he starts bang on beat one with that. Again, you're going to hear a slowed down version now so you can get an idea of the rhythm and the execution of it. Now let's look at the bridge. Uh, there's not really any guitar on this part. It's it's all um, it's just piano playing playing the chords. But I'll show you what the harmony is anyway. It's all basically. I look at them all as basically ninth chords. You could play them as dominant seventh chords if you want, but uh, this will certainly get you close to what's going on. It's not the exact voicings, but it's an approximation. And just to keep things simple, I'm just going to use the same shape. It's going to start on a B flat 9 and the basic shape I'm going to play it like this. So on the 6th string, got the 6th fret, 6th fret on the D string, 5th fret on the G and then my little finger is playing 6th fret on the B. Like so. So that plays for seven beats in total. It ties over. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. And then they just do these little chromatic passing chords. So it just goes up one fret, B9, and then lands on C9. Again, for seven beats. Then the next passing chord is a G9. Down to F sharp nine for seven beats. Then G nine is a passing chord. Back up to A flat nine for seven beats. Then A nine is a passing chord. And then we're back to B flat nine. Kind of the beginning of the sequence again, but uh, it's kind of cut in half. So once we're up to there, the passing chord B nine. C9, G9 is a passing chord, and then it just holds on to the F sharp 9 for two bars or eight beats, and then you're back into the main riff again.
Okay guys, just one more thing to add I suppose is uh, the sound setup. So on the guitar, I'm using a Strat of course, and I'm using the bridge and middle pickups for the sound. And like I said earlier, I'm palm muting all of the single note riff stuff. So uh, yeah, that kind of... Uh, gives you the, the right sort of sound. Um, sound wise, other than that, uh, I think anything like a clean guitar sound will work for this. I'm just DIing my Helix straight into the desk. No amp modeling, just a bit of compression and a little bit of EQ. And that's it. Uh, the guitar is dry on this one. Okay, I think that's everything. Oh, one other thing. Uh, this is a great track just to jam over if you want to try your lead stuff as well. So great for playing your bluesy licks, your mixolydian runs, all of that sort of stuff. So uh, I've put a little clip together. I hope you like it. It's me just having a bit of fun at the end, basically. Okay, well, that's the lesson. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope you get a lot from it. And I will see you for one again in the near future. Take care, guys. Mm -hmm.